many people as I can. Um, it goes back to when I was uh, a freshman in college. Um, I went away to college. I was very intimidated. There I was a freshman at the conservatory. And uh, I sat in this big auditorium full of students. And I was nervous to begin with. Uh, you know, we all have those worries of, do we belong here? Am I good enough? All of those things. And I was very insecure uh, sitting in this sea of people who I was sure were all more talented than I ever could be. Sure. And uh, I I was baffled at the fact that on in, on the stage in this beautiful auditorium, um, there was nothing set up. There was no band set up. There was no orchestra, no brass choir, no chorus. The There was no one there. And I couldn't figure out why they wouldn't start with some kind of a concert or some kind of beautiful music to start the the, the first day of the, of the college year. And uh, I noticed after quite a while that there was this old man wandering up and down the, the alley between the stage and the first row of chairs. And I saw this gentleman who was in a very tattered jacket and rips in his pants and was kind of muttering to himself as he's walking back and forth and back and forth. And I started thinking, wow, I wonder if, you know, I should say something because this is a little odd. This man's just, you know, muttering to himself. He's spitting all over the place. And and uh, all of a sudden he grabbed a wireless microphone from the stage that I didn't even see was there. Mm -hmm. And uh, what he said was basically, you know, when I was 18 years old, I knew everything. And everyone just sat there reverently silent. When I was 28, I realized there was one thing I didn't know. At 38, a few things I didn't know. 48, and he went on and on. And uh, and he said, you know, now I stand before you as an old man, and I don't know anything. And I sat there thinking about this. And he said, the most valuable lesson that I can pass along to everyone is that we don't know anything. 